Hello and welcome to Tony Talks Humanity Matters, where we focus on elevating our health and wellness for our body, our mind, and our spirit. Today, we're going to talk about high vibrational foods and what they can do for you. So think about your relationship with food. How does it make you feel? Do you feel guilt or shame when you eat foods that aren't good for you? Do you feel uplifted and proud and accomplished when you've been eating healthy and whole? Sometimes we let our emotions get the best of us and we can get stressed out and that shows up as cravings for sweet or crunchy or salty foods or all three. So we may find ourselves reaching for a bag of Cheetos out of boredom or stress or sadness. And I totally understand the challenges. I share that with you. It's not easy to stay on a healthy eating regimen when life happens, right? When you're exhausted from work, you're trying to throw together dinner, and your child tells you that they need a display presentation board for school the next day. So it's just so tempting to demand, how long did you know about this? And then go reach for a bag of Cheetos or M&Ms. So what has really helped me and my clients over the years is to start framing and thinking about food in a very, very different way. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Tony Julian. I'm an intuitive health and wellness coach. I'm a certified sports coach, a personal trainer, and a former figure competitor. I'm also the author of two books, Smart, Fit, and Female, The Busy Woman's Blueprint for Looking and Feeling 10 Years Younger, and also Bite Me, Change Your Life One Bite at a Time, as well as a third book that's in the works to be unveiled soon. I'm also the CEO of Tony's Kitchen, where we create healthy, balanced macronutrient protein meals, meal bars, granola, and pancake mixes that are seriously, totally guilt-free. I've impacted thousands of people through helping them transition to a sustainable, healthy lifestyle. And today I want to offer some guidance to you so you don't feel like you're being sabotaged or held hostage by your feelings around food. So here are my top five things to consider if you want empowerment over your food choices. One. We are vibrational, energetic beings, and therefore we require energy in the form of food along with air and water to survive. Everything in life resonates with a vibrational frequency, including our food. Seek out nutritious, high-quality, high-vibrational foods like fresh organic fruits and veggies, healthy oils, beans and grains, nuts and seeds, herbal teas, pure water. All of those things are so high-vibrational. Think about if you go out into your backyard or into an orchard and you pick a pear off the tree. That is very high vibrational. It is as close to mother nature and as close to the source as possible. But think about if you open up a can of fruit cocktail and it's been so processed and so far away from its original source that doesn't even have any color left in it. The only color is this artificially colored maraschino cherry. You know that is low or no vibration. Two, think plants. Get 70% of your daily food from plants. Three, stay away from white rice and flowers, alcohol, processed foods, unhealthy oils, non-organic foods as much as possible. Four, have gratitude for the gift of food. I express gratitude and appreciation for the plant that is nourishing me. I express gratitude and appreciation and send a prayer to the food that maybe an animal, whether it's meat or seafood, has lost a life so that I can be nourished. Five, consider food as powerful medicine. Food is not just fuel. It has been proven over and over again. It's not just calories. We all know that. Our foods provide nourishment to every cell in our body and also as chemical messengers. So it tells our cells what to do. Some are precursors to hormones. So our food has the power to heal us and it has the power to hurt us. So getting the best food quality possible is going to help you in your quest for good health. Six, Use your intuition. You know what makes you feel good. You know what makes you feel poorly. You know what gives you energy. You know what makes you feel alive. So going as close to those plant sources as possible is what is going to help elevate you, help elevate your energy. When life gets really busy and stressful, slow down. Listen to your body. Pay attention to what it wants. Are you thirsty? Are you really hungry and your blood sugar is low? Are you lonely? Are you bored? Are you sad? 
Some people eat out of sadness. I tend to be a non-eater when I'm super sad, like during the loss of a loved one or something. So think about your moods. Think about if you're happy, do you overeat there? Do you eat because you just want to eat something that's fun, right? Are you a little bit bored? So think about that. And remember the saying, you are what you eat. It is so very true, not only from a cellular standpoint, but from a vibrational standpoint. Thanks for joining me for Tony Talks Humanity Matters. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below. I would so love to hear from you. And get your free copy of my high vibrational foods by clicking on the link in the description below. Thank you for listening from my heart to yours.